pictures a soldier, you would see strong people marching boldly forward, an awesome sight to behold. However, for this soldier, walking forward to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, marching, like so many other activities, have become memories of things now beyond his capacity, painfully out of his reach. Leaning on the crutch, he pivots and sits down. Corporal Desmond Abani, the military officer from Ghana, has a fracture of the distal femur in his right leg. The findings of the military hospital, which had booked Corporal Abani for surgery, took an x-ray which clearly showed a terrible fracture of his right leg. Let's see how the Lord Jesus Christ will manifest his healing presence as Corporal Desmond Abani receives prayer from Prophet T.B. Joshua. My name is Corporal Desmond Abane from Ghana. I have a fracture in my right bone. Today is my one year with a fracture that I have. Please, man of God, deliver me, please. Mais en cet moment, il y a dans son uniforme de soldat. Mon Dieu, l'homme de Dieu, je prie pour lui. Prophet T.B. Joshua prays for Corporal Desmond Abane in the name of Jesus Christ. Instantly, the power of Jesus, our healer, comes on the scene and begins to work in the broken body of the military officer. He falls to the ground under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Prophet T.B. Joshua again taps the man's leg under the instruction of the Holy Ghost as the healing takes place in the name of Jesus Christ. The man of God is being used as a channel of faith through which the healing anointing flows. The power of God starts to raise Corporal Desmond's leg off the floor and stretch it out. The military man grimaces as the spiritual restoration aligns and heals every part of his damaged body. contraire à sa volonté alors que la main de l'homme de Dieu est en train de s'élever une opération spirituelle est en train de s'opérer au niveau de sa jambe with one last word from the prophet Corporal Desmond is commanded to rise up and walk in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus I'm free I can walk now thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. I'm free. I can walk now. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. The transformation is clear and the glory is for the Lord. People of God, Emmanuel. My name is Desmond Abana. Praise the Lord. Ghana. Praise the mighty Jesus. Any moment from now, the brother will be coming forth to share with us his wonderful testimony of what God has done. And as he comes forth, let us put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a wonderful, wonderful and wonder kind of miracle that God did in the life of this man. And now you can walk by himself without the aid of the accrush that he came with to the Synagogue Church of All Nations then. So we welcome you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Uh, tell us your name and share with us your testimony. People of God, Emmanuel. My name is Kwapra Ban Desmond from Ghana. I'm here to thank God for my life. Well, 2016, that was 20, 2016, 28 May, I have a terrible accident. And my mate beside me died instantly through the accident. And I was suffering a lot. I've been a lot of herbal treatment. Those in Ghana, they know of, uh, there's one a special doctor in Tema that with uh, in uh, appointed clinic. I've been there, no solution. I've been a lot of places, no solution. And I've gone a lot of pains. And I've been suffering. A lot of pains in my body. I cannot even walk. I was with the cross itself. I was even fell down several times. And I was a lot of pains that I'm going. And, and one before I will come here, exactly the one year that I will come here, I have a dream, and I can't a man of God came into my dream and prayed for me in the dream. 
So exactly what he did, he prayed for me in the church here, that happened in the same dream. Okay, before you share with us your experience when you came to the synagogue Church of All Nations, we want you to tell us, what are the things you could not do then because of that problem? You know, as a, a military person, there's, I cannot do my duties, I cannot do my normal thing to bath a lot of things that I cannot do. Even the work I cannot work, I cannot stand as I'm standing here today. Mm. There is a lot of things that I cannot do. Mm. But I thank God today I'm standing. I can do, I can work, I can do my normal activities now. And everyone would like to know what happened before you have this ability to do all these things you could not do then. So share with us, what was your experience when you came to the Synagogue Church of, your, of All Nations? And when I came to Synagogue, that was 28 May 2017. A man of God prayed for me, <coughs> and sorry, I was in a dead. Even my leg, I cannot even the leg cannot even move. It was stiff. I've been to Fisu, no solution. So when I came, man of God touched me. And moment he touched me, I feel electric shock in my bone. And then my, the the back vein was weak, so I could see the backbone pull and then join together, then I received the bones was making noise. So, and then the leg that is stiff was able to move to straight. So when man of God was praying for me, I could see that the leg was able to reel along. I was not able to even raise it. I've been to Fisu so many days for my leg to even raise still. But when man of God touched me and everything, the pain just vanished. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ? Put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. As we can see on the screen, the very condition the man was when the man of God prayed for him, prayed for him as he explained. So tell us for the benefit of those listening to you. You said immediately the man of God touched you. You experienced something on that particular leg. Can you share with us again what exactly you experienced? Uh, I feel electric shock. Electric shock in my bone. So the electric shock that I saw, that I felt the bones was shaking, was moving. And then the bone was making a noise, and then it joined together. So I feel the, the back, uh, the, the vein on my back joined together, pull and then joined together. And then I hear the noise, the sharp noise in the bone. And when man of God asked me to stand up, you are healed. So when I wake up, I was walking without the pain. The pain just vanished instantly. Wonderful. So tell us, ever since then, what has been your condition? Ever, condition. ever since then, no more pain. I can do my normal work. I can, cannot do as a soldier the things that I'm supposed to do now. So now you can work. Can you just exercise yourself and let us see okay. those things you could not do before now that you can do now? Okay. For, for now that I can march. Wow. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ? That is what he said he could not do before now because of that problem in his leg. He said the leg was stiff and he could not even walk. He could not do anything. So you could not do all this before now? I could not walk. I could, could not, not even raise the leg. This is the leg that I'm raising. Wow. Yes, sir. So I can, can even raise the leg now. Oh, glory be to God in the highest. So with this wonderful healing that God has done in your life, what word of advice do you have for people listening to you? Um, I, I have a lot to tell the whole world. Uh, what I want them to believe is they should believe in God. They should have faith in God. With God, all things is possible. Though when I was going through pain, I know it's not easy, but with God, it's easy. God, the God that healed me, the same God who also delivered them. So we should believe in God and leave the worldly things. It will not help us. So when we come to God, that is the only way that will lead us to salvation of our soul. So you are advising all our sundry to trust in God? 
But once you trust in God, you will never be confounded in time or eternity. We thank God for this healing. We can see as a picture beside you there. What do you have to say about them? Uh, the picture, you know, is the car, the very day that I have the accident. The wreckage. Yes, okay. that is the vehicle. And that was the first day. And they took me to Texas Avenue Little Hospital in Ghana. In days that things, you can even see what is happening now. The leg, they hang it on, 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 on this end. So I cannot even drop the leg. That is what I was going through. The same here. So those are the things that I could not do. Mm. So this picture details the very condition you were before you came to the synagogue, Church of All Nations, and the man of God prayed for you in the name of Jesus Christ, in the power of the Holy Ghost, and now you are free. Yes. Oh, glory be to God in the highest. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ? We thank God for this wonderful healing that God has done in your life. I want to encourage you that now the Lord has healed you for the salvation of your soul. You should, you should make his word the standard for your life. You should meditate on it and see to it that you do what the word says. And we we'll pray that God will grant you the inner grace to do so in Jesus' name. Cet homme ne vient du Ghana. Il vient de partager son témoignage merveilleux. Il s'est fracturé le fémur droit à la suite d'un terrible accident de voiture qui s'est déroulé le 28 mai 2016. Accident dans lequel son compagnon dans la voiture est mort instantanément, mais il a survécu avec des souffrances terribles. Il a été voir des médecins et des hôpitaux pour essayer de guérir sa jambe, mais ils ne sont pas parvenus. Il est allé en Chine voir des médecins spécialisés et traiter la commune. Beaucoup de douleurs, beaucoup de souffrances dans son corps. Il ne pouvait pas marcher ni exercer ses devoirs de militaire. Donc ça a affecté sa vie professionnelle, sa vie sociale dans tous les domaines. Mais lorsqu'il est venu ici le 28 mai 2017, l'homme de Dieu de prophétie...